My name is Larry Wilson. Yes, I am one of the three owners of Lovell's Barbershop, the one and only. And here we are at the flagship 125th where it all began. It's a job, baby. <laughs> we gotta cast the characters. You know, it's a full-time responsibility. Part-time babysitter. Nah, baby. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, we do our thing here. Most of the cats are pretty mature. They holding it down. They got their own clientele. Got a couple of new youngins in here trying to get their weight up. Uh, the daily routine, daily da daily operations, I try to manage, make sure that Clients are, are actually sent to the right guy, the new guys, so it's an even flow. You know, just keeping the shop clean, keeping things under control, and get a little out of hand at times, making sure the guys are just professional on point. So that's pretty much the daily operation, daily uh, cause my responsibilities in here on a daily basis. Okay, each barber in the shop, we're gonna first start at, uh, go down the line. Jimmy Blaze next to me, the only Hispanic Puerto Rican uh, pretty boy, pretty boy Floyd at the shop. Uh, has a lot of, a lot of game. I call him BS Jimmy. He has a lot of game. Good with the kids, good with the ladies. Great barber, a lot of personality. Uh, Jimmy Blaze, that's that's what he calls himself. And he's blazing. We are gonna go next, Twizzy Twan. Woo, he, he started where, where it all began. He was here from the beginning. He was back and forth, but he's back home now. Great barber. I would call him a precision barber. Very precise. As far as his personality and character, he's a little sensitive, a little emotional. You gotta touch and go with him day by day. You know, you never know where Torn gonna show up. Uh, we're gonna move right on down the line. Next, Kasim, Master Barber Kasim. Old school cat of the shop. Mix, missing a few tufas, tufas. <laughs> uh, a riot, very intelligent, very uh, witty. Uh, just an old school guy, got old school ways. Uh, very argumentative, very... Uh, woo. He's got a whole lot of stuff with him, Kasim. But again, great barber, knows what he's doing, lives up to the name, Master Barber Kasim. Great with straight hair, good with scissors. So he can help the young guys out, willing to help guys out. And uh, he's a good addition to the crew. Cool going down the line to the West Indies, Trinidad, Warren G. Also, very good barber. You know, he's a microwave. You might be in and out with him, but he's good. Uh, you know, he's a little lazy, sits in the chair all day. <laughs> Cut your hair on the stool. But he's also a good dude. Got a lot of jokes. Can talk about any movie that's out or any movie that's been ever out, movie buff, and uh, that's a good guy, good guy, good guy all around, good with the clients. And we gonna go way to the back, Joseph. Wow, another character, we full of characters here. Joseph, if he, if he doesn't have his back to the wall and in a chair, <laughs> in his chair with his back to the wall, he's cutting, and uh, he's doing his thing, and you know, he, he's, the guy is the most, uh, how should I put it? Lackadaisical, uh, I would say, uh, the dude loses everything. <laughs> if he ain't losing his phone or his clippers or whatever, he's all right. But uh, he's a good dude. He's a good addition to the crowd. You know, he's sort of standoffish, sort of a, a, a loner. But, you know, he's great. Got his clientele up. And uh, he's doing his thing. He got a dog as an assistant. <laughs> got a little pooch with him every day in a, in, a, in a cage, you know, a little carry bag. So that, that's 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 a whole other uh, thing we got going on here with the dog, him and his dog. That's his assistant right there. Moving on to the back, right behind me, with a mean face and a frown, <laughs> brother Peace. But he's actually actually a peaceful brother. He's actually a cool guy. That don't go by his dispositional as a uh, facial features or uh, expressions. Moving right along. I call him Snacks. Joey. Joey Snacks. Always eating Twinkies or Double Dogs. Or, you know, he got old school snacks. He come out with snacks I ain't seen in 20 years. Uh, very hip hop. Wears uh, a <laughs> size 5X every day. He wore a uh, 10X barber jacket if you can give it to him. 
Good barber also, you know, a little weird. Uh, he's, you know, he might be giggling, sniggling to himself. You might be looking at him, what's going on, who he's talking to, but he's actually talking to himself. Uh, what else is going on with him? He's just a weird dude. He's a weird character, but he's a good, he's a good barber, and he got his weight up over the years. You know. Next on the on the list, we got a new cat, right? A little quiet, Raheem. We gonna call him Raheem the Dream. The dream is that he get he could last a couple of months and you know further his career here at Levels and help him get his game up. We gonna help him get his game up. So far, so good. He's the only barber in my home. 20 years in the shop, this new dude, that I ain't seen one haircut he did yet. <laughs> He's been here three days. I ain't seen the finished product actually today, our first time. I don't know if he's sneaking them out of back exit that we, we put in that I don't know about, but I cannot seem to see the finished product of this guy's haircut, which is real weird. I don't know if he found a, a latch door or something. I don't know what's going on there. Last but not least, Ock. Big Ock. Big Ock. Got it popping. Part-time bodyguard. You need to have him stand out front and then keep the riffraff out. But uh, got a baby on the way. He's doing his thing. You know, he look, he's a, a fake LeBron James. LeBron Bron Jr., we call him. Hairline just like LeBron's also. Yeah, but he's doing his thing and he's holding it down. He's a hustler. He grinds. Sarah, sweet girl. She's, she's a hustler too. Don't let the looks fool you. Don't let the good looks fool you. But she's out, she's out to get hers. She's out to get that paper. Good barber, getting much better. Good with straight hair. A lot of personality. She gets into a lot of stuff with the dudes in here. She got her own little way of thinking, but you know, we deal with her. And you know, she's young and she's, 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 she's a hustler. She's doing her thing also. Partner, I'm gonna say my, I'm gonna go with um, Big the Novel first. Wow, what a character. <laughs> All I can think of last when I think of him. Oh, uh, he's the one-legged assassin right now. But he's out in Brooklyn holding it down. Doing his thing, got his cutting game up. He's a riot, big six, we call him. A lot of laughs, jokes all day. Quick with the wit. And then we're gonna move on to his cuzzo, Big Kazo. We're gonna call him the chairman of the board of levels. You know what I'm saying? He's all over. He's the he's the level brand itself. You know what I'm saying? We, we just the finishing touches. He goes in, hard body, all day, all night. He's working around the clock. He's like, uh, you know, he's a one-man show. He's trying to, you know, do it all, get it popping. Which is great, which is great. He's always on the grind. You know, great barber, came up with me. You know, took him under the wing as a young buck. But uh, he's doing his thing. And, you know, and together we're making it work, baby. We're here in Harlem, Brooklyn, Queens. You know, we're just doing what we do. I'll try to look at it as all the way up, man. All the way up, but there are some downs. But the upside is, you make your own schedule, you know. You need to be organized and hold it down. Be consistent, you know. Develop a rapport with your people. And, and it's, it's a great um, trade, it's a great career. It's a great, you know, it is what you make it, you know. Barber is, he's, uh, he's big in the community. You know, it's all about what you want to do with this, this uh, trade right here. You, you know, you can take it on the road, celebrities, you know, you can, there's a lot of different avenues you can go with, with the barbering game. So it's really all up to the individual barber what they want to get out of it. And that's the upside. The downside is, it's pretty much a cash business, so you need to be really be organized with your money. People coming in every day, selling this, selling that, you might go home with nothing. You thought you, you made all your bread all day. Another downside is, um, you know, depends on who you're working with. It could be a lot of animosity sometimes. <laughs> downside to the barbering game is, I would think is, you really have to manage your money. You're getting cash every day. You got people coming through here selling laptops, VCRs, or whatever, VCRs played out, whatever. Whatever, you name it, it's coming through this shop. So you might trick off half your bread if you're not, you know, careful with your paper. Uh, Hopefully you're working around a good supporting cast to cats so it's not a lot of animosity and you guys, guys can work together and that you know, keeps the environment pretty cool. Sometimes you get friction with guys, you know, cutting each other's throat for money, this, that, no, I'm here for that to kind of shut that down. But 
that could be also be an issue. I mean, you got some guys that are great, and then you got some that are not. <laughs> so you, it, it depends on, you gotta give them more, you gotta stay on top of the ones that's not. They, they, if they're not doing what they gotta do, then they will not be here for long. So we have a chance of that, but it's you know not too much. It's normally the same people that's on point and the same people that's off point. 